all right guys in this video we're going to be going over how you can overclock your controller to get the lowest possible delay almost zero input delay on controller and better aim assist on top of that it is insane on top of that we have the best possible controller settings in this video and a crazy 30 elimination squad game you guys will not want to miss this video make sure you guys stay to the end so first you're going to be downloading the link from below i'm going to have this link it's going to be the controller overclocking software i already have it extracted so i'm just going to go over to my documents and where i put it which is right here bam so you're going to click on setup you're going to go over to all and you're going to find your controller mine's this one right here because i have it overclocked to 4,000 pulling rate but you're going to find your controller so it says dual sense wireless controller literally all you're going to want to do is click on your controller you're going to click on this down low you're going to see okay you have all the different rates now i recommend putting it on 4,000 because if you put your pulling rate on 8,000, it tends to be very very laggy and your fps will drop a ton so put your pulling rate for this this is only on ps5 controllers if you're on an xbox controller you have to have it on 1000 but it still gives you crazy lower delay so if you're on playstation 5 controller do 4000 pulling rate you're going to hit install service i already have it done so i'm not going to do it then you're going to check filter on device and you're going to hit install service again and then right after that all you're going to do is unplug your controller plug it right back in and it's going to pop up right here and it's going to show the rate you just did so if i if i went and did it if i wanted to change to if I wanted to change it back to the default settings, say it messed up my PC or something, you're just going to come straight back to this software. You're going to, you know, if you're on 4000, you're going to come back to it. You're going to hit default. You're going to uncheck filter on the device, install service, run, open, unplug your controller, plug it back in. And bam, here it is. It's restarted all over again. So now I can change it back. I can mess with other pulling rates. I could try 1000, 2000. But like I said, for PS5 controllers, 4,000 is the absolute best. So I'm just going to, you know, throw that back on. Pop. Bam. Unplug. Replug. And it's going to show 4,000. That's exactly what you should see when you do it. If this, guys, if this did work for you guys, make sure you guys leave a like, comment on the video, all right, if it worked. And I will see you guys at the end of the video where I'll be showing you guys the absolute best controller settings possible. Dude, I can't fucking do it. Like, I just like, hard fucking zero. I just can't do shit. Uh, yeah. 128 on Advent? Advent this week is fucked. Hello, dude. That's burnt. Sorry, do you want to, you want to play some dual squads? Yeah, I'm down. Just let me finish this game. I need to do something bad like him. Peter at bro who has it is it you it's him it's him. why can't why can't you build right here Thank you. 
for five hundred dollars, Richard, dude. Playing fills. It's a it's a ninja turtle. Wait, why does this one look like Dalty? I think I fought one. All right, guys. So jumping straight into my settings, my controller, all of that. We are currently still using the same PS5 scuff reflex FPS. Digital tap triggers, bumpers, four back paddles. Nothing nothing changed with the controller. Some things did change with the settings though. I have a different res as you guys might be able to see. I'm using a different stretch res. I'm using all new stuff to be completely honest. Everything's different, so let's just hop straight into it. So our res, we are on 1720 by 1080. It is Peterbot's res. Now, do not worry about the 60 FPS cap. I have my FPS locked through the game files at 357. I'm not going to explain that. All right. I'm not explaining it. I don't care. Brightness at 150. My game looks crazy dark if I use it any other way. I just recently turned colorblind mode off. I used to use Dutronope, and now I'm using it off. Uh, 3D res. Don't worry about that. It's at zero. It's just bugged. My game's at 100%. Uh, all low. Everything else. Show FPS on. That's like personal. Uh, everyone's sound settings are different. I'm just going to kind of run through mine quick nothing really important here okay, nothing visual sound effects are on nothing too crazy there this is where it gets a little crazy so i'm on central right now because i mean that's the competitive region toggle sprint on auto open doors on hold jump hold jump uh hold the swap pickup one of the best things ever make sure you guys are using this it basically means so when you hold down your pickup button you can swap it instead of having to drop things in your inventory and then pick it up so much better uh, auto pickup weapons i turn this on for tournaments only i only have this on tournaments it helps you win every single 50 50 it's the best thing ever preferred item slot so we're running shotgun in the first slot seconds smg and the fifth is my ar that means i can tap to either one from my shotgun so if one's not reloaded i can tap to my ar either either or either or jumping over we have reset build choice on disable pre edits i do i do not have this on i have my pre edits on so i can pre-edit people because i'm weird i don't care turbo building if you're not using this figure it out you need you need to make sure you're using this auto confirm edits none i don't use edit on release or edit reset i think they're really bad on controller if you do use them let me know maybe i should try them at some point but i don't uh the rest of this is just kind of you know whatever record replays i keep that on and then you need to make sure you have these two energy saving options off this these two options right here will give you the lowest input delay in the entire game so turn both of them off it'll give you crazy low input delay and it'll feel so good i'm just gonna run through this quick nothing really in here that matters Damage skills at max, hit and icons list, HUD skills 80. None of this stuff really matters. Um, don't use the gyro guys. If you're using gyro settings, I for real, I need you to like just quit the game, figure it out. You need you need to do something else with your life because these settings are not it. And if you're using them to play, uh, you're probably horrible. We're just gonna go through my keyboard and mouse real quick. I have been slowly switching over to keyboard and mouse, so these are my settings for that. X and Y is 3.1, 3.1, targeting is 50-50. Then my build and edit sense, I have it upped a little bit at 115 and 115. It makes it just feel a little bit smoother when I'm building. I don't know. I think it's better for me. These are my double movement settings for it. Custom diagonals, 65, 90, and 144. It makes it so you're basically running right the entire time. It's, it's really good. Over to my binds. We'll just run through this quick. Like I said, I have been slowly switching to keyboard and mouse. Uh, sprint is on my mouse. And then I'll just kind of go down to the, the important stuff. You know, the wall. My wall is Q, my floor is F, stairs are E, my roof is left shift, and I, I edit with V, actually. 
so it gives me really good movement once i get better at keyboard i think i'd literally be booga uh maybe better than booga i might win two world cups he's only won one so you know i might i might go out the go out the two time jumping over to our controller settings now this is where this is where i know all you guys love it all right all of y'all love the controller settings so we're just gonna go through here controller auto run on on 0 0.100 0 0.085 i think this is the best slide whole time i've never changed it off of this i don't mess with any of this stuff uh, i don't i don't really know what it is vibration i have off everyone should use that off quick weapon i haven't seen anyone that uses this and i don't really enjoy it myself so i just haven't used it at all all right now our sensitivity we have a 1.9 2.0 build sensitivity with a 40 40 look horizontal and a 2 2 boost these settings might be the absolute best settings of all time i absolutely fry as you saw from that gameplay that 30 bomb solo squad i absolutely fry and then our ads we lowered it back to 6 6 with 3 3 boost something about these settings it just feels 20 times better to me i don't know i just i love it so much you guys need to try it it might seem low but just just get on it looking for a curve we are on linear i tried expo for a little bit i didn't like it to be honest i just felt super stiff super uncomfortable i thought it was pointless our dead zone is 10 10 something slight foot controller on turn this on for the best aim assist i promise i i wouldn't lie to you jumping over to our binds now the new binds are horrible so i'm not going to go through it too much i'm just going to tell you what mine is so i have four paddles on the back of my controller i don't know how well you can see it so my left paddle is switch mode and then right above that is my pickaxe so it's b y but those are on my back paddles and then my jump is on my right paddle and then my sprint is right above that on my top right paddle other than that every other bind is the same i mean i don't like this new menu my edit is left stick as well and i reset with lt and confirm with rb so i mean overall i don't like this new like setup of stuff and then i'm on generic because it gives you lower input delay but i don't like the new setup of like how the settings are for like binds for controller i think it's really bad but it's all good uh if you guys did try these settings make sure you leave a comment down below if you like them and comment down some settings you would like me to try and do a video on whether that be re miro you know whoever i will i will find a way to get those settings for you make a video and let you know if they're good let you know if you want to try them but like always i love you guys all right i'll see you in the next one if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're new all right i love you all peace